changed. <laughs> Please welcome Mike Massimino, everybody. Mike Massimino. Mike, and thank you for wearing your flying suit, which is fantastic. Well, I, I appreciate You know, the, the thing is, I was asking my son about, you know, I was coming on the show, and right. he's 14. I was like, what do you think I should wear? Should I wear my flight suit? And he said, no, don't wear that thing. I go, why is that? He goes, it makes you look like an idiot. <laughs> so if you're perfect, maybe this will work. Well, but, I thought that you yeah. fit right in, but I the thing right is... <laughs> It doesn't make you look cool oh, in thanks, a flight thanks. suit. You look, I mean, yeah. it would help to have a, a space shuttle with you because then it, it would look, you know. Yeah, but who can fit it? It's well, a little you're bit not going to fit it in here. Yeah. No. And it's busy right now. It's uh, up in space, so. It's up there yeah, right now? Yeah, yeah, we just had a launch today. Do you ever get crazy to go back up? Like when you look at the sky every day, you go, I can't stand being stuck on this planet! And you have to go. <laughs> only, only when I need to do stuff like uh, mow the lawn. Right. You know, you come home and all of a sudden, you know, shingles are falling off the roof. Yeah. And the pool's dirty and the kids are screaming and Good you're like, Lord, I wish. I was back in space where everything was simple. <laughs> but uh, See, when you but take no, off, really, it's good to be back. It's when really you take off back. in the shuttle, yeah. right? Do you do you control it? Like, do you like all the power and say all the things and 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 do all, you fly the thing no, up? And now you're scaring me. No, no, I didn't. Oh. No, I didn't. We have it's it's uh, generally an automatic sequence that that takes you up there. Right. But we have a uh, pilot and a commander and two uh, astronauts who are on the flight deck. Me and two other guys were on the mid-deck, so we didn't have any windows and, and no gate. We had lockers. We had to make sure everything stayed in the locker, and that was That's it. That's a very important very job important in space. Very important that you don't lose any of your yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but the guys upstairs are kind of monitoring what goes on. And if right. we did have a problem, and we actually did have a problem going off the pad, we had a, a master alarm go off, but it wasn't, it wasn't a big problem. We I would have, have made around. a terrible mess of my flight suit. Well, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why we wear a diaper. Right. Yeah. We wear diapers for that reason. We're, really? in, we're in our, not in this thing. This is, we fly in our airplanes in this. But we fly, we wear a big orange suit and, uh, when, we, when we launch and when we land, and we wear a big white suit when we spacewalk. And, uh, you know, you can't really get up to go to the potty, so you're, you, know, you, you wear a diaper just in case. You need to do that. But, uh, uh, but it, we go, the first, the first thing you Where do before... Where would I get me one of those? You don't uh, want You don't want one of those. Right. But the first thing you do before you get on the shuttle is you make sure that you're ready to go and all that's taken care of. And right, because you, you this is by the captain's seat right now. Has everyone been in the bathroom? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's right. we can't, We're not stopping halfway. We can't, we can't pull off. You know, right. we, can't, we can't pull over. So, but uh, yeah, no, it was it was a little bit it was a little bit exciting. Now, are you are you a pilot? Are you? A, I'm a, a private pilot, which right. you are as well. Right? Uh, check ride in two flight. weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check ride coming up. Yeah, that's no. pretty big for yeah. your private license. Yeah, or for, yeah. You ready for it? How's it? I think it so. Like? I, the book learning, I'm a bit behind. It's all yeah, like airspace, okay. 500 feet below the cloud, yeah. a thousand feet above, two thousand to the side. Right. I'm like, oh come on. Yeah. Come on, who's up there? I know. For people. There's a lot of rules. You got somebody to talk to. You know, when you're in an airplane, you got some people you can ask questions to. And that's right. the way space flight is, too. It's an open book test. You know, if you have a question, hey, you can I don't ask know a question the, during the test. Ask a question, yeah. right? You can ask a question during a space flight. It's an open book test. So, you know, if you if you have a problem, they're going to tell you. They're not going to like keep the answer from you. Not you like, know, like in, a, yeah, like right, in school, know? right? In school, well, they like, no, we're not going to tell you the answer. You got to figure it out. You know? Yeah, that's bad it's, in an airplane. That's okay. In an airplane, they're going to tell. So just think of it that way. If, yeah, you know, yeah. if you're up there and you're not sure what your altitude is, you ask the guy. Yeah, that's right. I, I don't know where I am. Right. And you say, well, you better find out, or we're going to be in trouble. Keep that in mind. People yeah. want you to succeed at that. That's they don't want, true. They don't yeah. want problems in the, you know, in the airport. I know. I don't. I don't. No, what what yeah. kind of plane do you fly in your own time? Oh, we. Uh, well, I haven't flown pli privately in a long time. Okay. It's been years uh, since I've flown, flown uh, in a private airplane. Right. But uh, we fly in T-38 uh, jet trainers as part of our training. Uh, and I get to sit, I'm the co-pilot, I get to sit in the back. We have uh, our astronaut pilots, commander and pilot uh, from our flight, for example, or one of our instructor pilots sit in the front, and we get to sit in the back. But it's a really cool is it plane. Very, very, is it a lot of full G, about 8 Oh, it's a cool, I mean, we can go up to about 6 Gs, and if we're doing, you know, those types of uh, aerobatics. Oh. But, yeah, you can do all kinds of fun oh, stuff nice. with How it. It's would a great I get airplane. me some of that, then? Would I have to? I, well, I mean, should have gone to college, really, for uh, a start. That's right. a start, that but it's not too late. Yeah. And yeah, we have a long application process. You <laughs> fill that out and yeah. see what happens. I'm a citizen now. That's that the helps. first step. We've had first guys. step. Yeah. First We've step. Had. Yeah. That's actually.
Why I became why I became an American was partially, well, in fact, really to do with NASA because I, uh, I watched the moon landing when I was a kid. You must be about the same age as me, where are you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 46. I'm you know, 47. We're yeah, you we're must coming be. up on the 40th anniversary of the, of the, of moon, the moon landing. landing. Yeah. yeah, we're coming up on the launch in a couple days, and then the landing was uh, July the 20th. So, and it's going to be 40 years. Did I you ever six. Did you ever meet Neil Armstrong? I did. Yes, it was uh, it was really cool. My uh, my first week as an astronaut 13 years ago. That must be cool when you say they go. Oh, well, there's your astronaut card and your yeah. blue. Suit. They, you should go, be, yeah. they should have. There's your diaper. Good yeah, night. Yeah. <laughs> there, there should be some kind of ceremony with that, You'd but there think. isn't. You think you know? You just kind of hand you the stuff. You go I out there. Think astronaut. It's not like it's you big... graduate from plumber college. It's exactly. astronaut. But there's no, there's no real. They do swear you in as a, you know, as a uh, civil servant, as a, you know, a government employee. Right. Uh, I'm a civilian, so I was, I had to get sworn in, and right. and uh, they give you your, you know, your fancy flight suit and all that stuff, and uh, not too much pomp and circumstance, but it's pretty cool. But you, and then you met. Uh, Neil well, the Armstrong first week, yeah. We were there. We happened to show up right around the time of uh, an astronaut reunion that was taking place, and uh, Neil was in town, and he was uh, gracious enough to come speak to our class. And wow. he's a, just a, a you know he's my boyhood hero. You know, yeah. here he is right there in front and of Buzz us. Buzz Aldrin and Michael Buzz Collins. Aldrin, they, yeah. yeah, they're all they're all great guys. And uh, and the thing I know about Neil is that we got we all went up and and got his autograph and said hi to him. And I noticed I was watching my classmates go up to him, and everyone would tell him you know where they were. When he landed on the moon, you know, it's uh, one of these yeah, things where you know I was, would, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was in the Poconos on vacation with my family, or I was at home watching on the TV set, or wherever you were, you know, they were telling him this. I'm watching everyone going up, and I, I said to him, I go, let me ask you something, you know, does this happen to you every 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 day? And he says, yeah. He says people, you know, it's such a great event that people want to share that with him, and they tell him it must drive him nuts, you know. I'm but he's sure. a very nice guy. Actually, so, going to the moon must make you a little loopy, anyway. I would, I mean, I would I, think we don't we haven't gone there in a while. The but, moon, I yeah. mean, look at the thing at yeah. night and and. Oh my God! Yeah, it's know. incredible. Yeah, yeah. When we go with the shuttle, we go uh, about. We were up at 350 miles up. When we're in the shuttle, and the, the space station where the where the guys and gals are going today, uh, are is 250 miles up, and the moon was 250 thousand miles away. So we're going less than one tenth of one percent wow. the distance of the moon. So it was really. Which you think theme? about that. What's it was that? quite. Well, how long were you up there? Uh, up for my first flight, I was up for 11 days, and this last flight was 13 days. Did you ever get experience any sensation? I'm sure that you're vetted for this. Any sensation uh. of panic or uh, disorientation or vertigo when you were going up there? Uh, not really, no. I mean, the the only you know, people ask if you're scared. You know, was it were you nervous or anything? And yeah. I tell you, Craig, the the thing where it hit me was right before the launch, you know, because you get out, you wake up that morning and you, and you go out and you get into this Astro van and there's these SWAT guys out there with these weapons and there's a helicopter above you. It's like and me my, coming to work. Kind of like yeah. a minute like that, yeah, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and I was with my, one of my buddies, and we, we was two rookies on a flight, me and my, my, my friend uh, Dwayne Carey Digger was his nickname, and he turns to me and goes, what's with all these, you know, what are these guys here for security? And I go, I think they're making sure we get on. Yeah. You know, like, we don't change our mind. It would be very bad for the country if you would, I'm scared. Yeah, that's what, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. good. And then, it's terrible if you have kids they're going to make fun of your kids at yeah, school no, so it's no, not you, a good you don't want that to happen oof. but you get on this thing and you go out to the and, you, and there's a couple managers with you the chief of the office and some you know big shots are with you riding out there but they keep getting off before you get to the vehicle you know they uh, get, they're like, all leaving and next thing you know it's only the driver and he's driving looking like this you know he wants to get yeah. get you and dump you off and i had been around space shuttle before but i never been fueled you know they fill up that tank oh, with yeah. all the with all the Who's fuel it smell like jet fuel it it, it uh, doesn't really have much of an odor but it, it it has it has noises to it. When you get to the shuttle, it's like creaking and making noises, and it's smoking, uh. and it looks like a beast. It uh, really that does. That is so awesome. Yeah, and then, and that's that. when you realize you realize maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, you know, no, I'm, I'm, to get out there. Yeah, it's just. But once that. you get inside, um, so that was where you know the, uh, for me the nervousness kind of took. Once you get inside and you have a job to do and you're getting yourself set up, it it really is kind of cool. And then. Once you launch, there's really nothing to stop this thing. You know, it's just gonna go, and it's it's, it's like a cool what they say, ride. It's like it's like uh, making love to a gorilla. You ain't done till the gorilla's done. <laughs> you know, I, I never thought of it that way, but that's a good way to look at it, I guess. Mike, I Mike, you're completely out of time. You, you gotta come back and talk to us again. Okay, sometime. I'd love to. I'd right. love to. Make Massimino, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome Mike Massimino, everybody. Mike Massimino. Welcome back, Mike. It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me back. No, it's, I'm always you. happy to see someone who's actually got a college degree on the show. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a big deal for us when we get someone brainy. <laughs> 
hope I don't disappoint you. No. I didn't you... know this was going to be a test. No, no, it's not uh, a test. Uh, it's not a test. We're just interested in what good. you're doing at NASA these days. Have good. you been back up since you were No, I've, I've been on Earth. This is the last time I've, I've stayed on Earth. I haven't been back up. What about hallucinogenic drugs? That's often a way to... Uh... I haven't tried that. No, no. No, I've just been hanging around and uh, trying to deal with uh, what's going on here on Earth. Now, what's, uh, that's you training in that big uh, yeah, underwater... Yeah. Um... It's a gigantic pool that we train to get ready for our spacewalks. Right. And it's, it's really big. It's 200 feet long. Right. It's 100 feet wide, and it's 40 feet deep. It's like a, it's like a big lake. It is, it's yeah. Big, and we can fit a whole uh, space station and a shuttle and a telescope model you don't in there wanna, as well. You don't want to put that in there. All the wires will get shorted out. You'll ruin ah, the damn thing. Yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah, no, we, uh, we have all the stuff that we use that has power in right. it. Like, you know, it has to be battery powered. And it has to be contained so that it won't it won't short out. And it, you, you know, you've been in space. Tough, yes. Right. It, yeah. Is it like space and being in this thing? It, it is. You know, it, it gets you ready for your job that you're going to do. Right. Yeah, everything, working with your tools, how you're going to work the choreography with your partner. Choreography? And, choreography. I love it. That's I what we call it. One singular concession. <laughs> Beep. And that's fantastic. There's no singing, though. No, right. They don't let us sing. But yeah, we call it choreography because that's what you kind of do when you're planning out each move and every that's move. That's adorable. Yeah, do you think? Yeah. I, never, I never looked at it that way, but I guess it could. No. But, we try, but we, every little move has to be planned out, and so we practice that. And you're ready for that when you get to when you get to space. You know, you you feel very comfortable with. It. When I went to the telescope the first time and worked right. on it, I, I I remember closing a door of a, a I changed out a reaction wheel, a thing that spins and points a telescope. I know what a reaction you know wheel is. You know, do I look stupid to you? That'll be part of the test. Yeah. But as I'm closing the door, Craig, yeah. I, I said I went through my you know. It's the first time you've ever seen that, for real. But I practiced so many times in the water, you know, I felt like I had done it but before. It feels like, yes. But the thing you're not prepared for is the view around you. Oh, yeah. Because that's just, there's no way to replicate the beauty of the earth in the background as you're doing your that's work. That's pretty nice. The stuff yeah. you get to see. Oh, so that's lovely. It prepares you for part of it, but not for the whole experience. Does it mess with your mind when you come back? Like, you know, do you kind of look up the space and go, oh, God, I'm so bored here with gravity? I actually... Now, <laughs> gravity is the word. Gravity is the word of the day. Yes. We've thrown it out, but... Gravi it's, uh, yeah. gravi and gravity can gravity trick died, you. Gravity died, actually. You know, you get used to not having gravity yeah. around when you're in space. Everything floats. It makes it easier. One time, when I got, one of the first times I got home, I went to the grocery store. I come back to pick up the, uh, you know, the, my, my grocery bag, and I go and I let go, and I think it's going to float oh. and crash. Can you imagine? I can't imagine yeah. that. Is yeah. that what you said to them at the time? Yeah. That was the excuse I yeah. used. I just come back from space. I just come back from space. It's not my, it's not my, I, that's right. I had a couple of drinks on my way home from that's space. Right. Yeah. Wow. So you can use that. You can use that as an excuse. That, that's yeah. very, and did your your muscle tone or did it all? I wasn't. I'm only up for for two weeks, so it's not uh, it's not that bad. You know, you feel. You actually, when you get back, you feel like a little off balance. Things seem a little heavier to you. But after a few hours, you feel you feel much better. Just a couple hours. Just a couple hours. But what still, about, what about sleeping in zero gravity? Oh, that that's, that's, weird. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Because yeah. what you're doing, you're, you're inside of a sleeping bag, and right. we, we tie up the sleeping bag. We have little little hooks, so you don't right. you don't want to be getting in your sleeping bag and then knocking into people or banging your head waking up. So no, no you'd be like, oh, sorry, I floated over to your bunk. That would right, be bad. Exactly. Yeah. I want to be good. So you got yeah. You want to stay in one space, right. you know, and make sure you know everybody is. Right. And, and, you, and then if you get that. surprised, you know, you know, something else is going on. So, right. Okay. So you get in, you get in your little. It's a, you know, it's a mistake. Right, you okay. get inside your little. Uh, you get inside your little sleeping bag, and you tie down, mm -hmm. and you have. Uh, you actually have a pillow behind you, but your head floats up, right? So what we do is we actually put a piece of cloth that keeps your head against the pillow. It velcros to the back. Right. It sounds uncomfortable, right? It sounds. Is nuts. there a safety word? No, it's, it's just, it's just, it just, it just keeps your head because we're so used to having a pillow right. behind our head. It, it uh, and it, so it holds you. Just holds your head. Have you head ever tried sleeping pillow? without your head held down? Uh, it, it's a little uncomfortable, believe, because yeah, we're really. so used to having a pillow behind our head. Right. But once you get inside of the thing, you're just kind of laying there floating, and it's like a, a really cool waterbed. You're That's kinda, really nice. And what's, what's, great, going what's, what's going on with uh, with NASA now? Because the, the, these shuttle flights are coming to an end. Yeah, that's they? right. Just got. We only have uh, four of them left. That's very sad. It's going to finish up this uh, this fall, and then uh, the next uh, the next step, which will be concentrating on long duration space flight on the space station, uh, yeah. we'll be going up on a on a Soyuz uh, spacecraft. Russians? Russians? Are you going to have to learn Russian? Uh, if you want to go, you have to learn Russian. Yeah, at oh, least have come a, they, on. Want you, they want you to have at least a rudimentary uh, knowledge. What of it. the hell well, happened to well, this country? Well, think about it. You want to? I mean, you want if you're flying on that spaceship, you want to yeah. be able to know where the exit sign is and that we kind of stuff. We should have our right? own damn spaceship. We can't be up there speaking. And Russian right, space and space people speak with American accents, buddy. That's, that's the right. way it's always been. Well, I got, I got to agree with you. Yeah, I got to agree with you.
That makes me very upset. But when I, just because the shuttle's retiring doesn't mean we're not going to have a spaceship. All right. It's gonna, we're going to be developing a, 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 new, a new spaceship as well. I, how this is going to happen, we're not exactly sure. The president and the Congress are going to try to figure that out. But well, you well, can we'll still, hold that. They, 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 well, they, they don't happens. do a lot of figuring yeah, out well, over there well, right we're now. Well, we're still going to be uh, flying people into space. So. What about the, the old shuttles? Are they going to be up for sale? Uh, do, yeah, how much money you got? You wanna, can you fill one in here? Well, you know, I think they're going to put them in. Uh, I think they're going to put them in museums. Right. They're not sure exactly where they're going to go, but they'll be put in museums. You'll so be one in the Smithsonian, I think. I, th I think that's probably a good. And bet. Disneyland. That might be an idea. I don't know. I'm not getting into the to the sale. I think All it's right, the, uh, right. whoever we come up with. Uh, are you, is, the right are, place. Will you go back to space now? Do you think? I hope so. I mean, I'm I'm available. I hope I get the chance again. We'll we'll see. Yeah. Is there a website you can go on? Is there a <laughs> There's a. Yeah, it's not like a contest or a waiting list or anything. You, know, you just, you know, where you have a group of people and you kind of take your turn and, and uh, hopefully you get a chance to go again. So I've gone twice, so that's, right. uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's been that's, nice. Yeah, that's I'm pretty glad, good. I'd be happy to go again. But see the Tubble the, the tubble Heliscope? The, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you, actually, you can't actually look through it or anything, can you? No, people ask me all these questions right. about astronomy and stuff, and I'm like, I don't look through the telescope. Right, I only right. work on it, you know? But yeah, Because you could turn it to Brad and Angelina's or something like that. Just, for, gotta, a, just for a minute. You can, you, can kind of, you can kind of snoop around with that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, I yeah. can't believe, look at Courtney Cox. You know, yeah, no, no, there's, there's no, there's no eyepiece for us to look through on that thing. Right. But they, they get the, all the fancy pictures, all the data comes down and gets shipped down to the ground, and then the astronomers can look at that stuff no, on the ground. Oh, astronomers, so. those yeah. jerks. No, they're, they're smart guys. They're smart oh, sorry, guys. I'm thinking of astrologers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I see by looking at the Hubble telescope, you're going to have a quite an unpleasant day. Yeah. yeah. Hey, That's Mike, it's, it's, it's always good to see you. Thank you. Come back Thanks and see you soon, and I hope you get back uh, up to space We'll soon. see what happens. All right. So too. Mike Massimo, Thanks, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome Mike Massimino, everybody. Mike Massimino. See ya. It's good, good to see, to see you. you. I, I am I am distraught for you though. Distraught. What, what happened? Well, because the the last shuttle launch is going on and you're not yeah. going up. Yeah, well, you know, a little disappointing. I can't be. There's only four, four of my friends are going. I'm very happy for them. Yes. I'm very of happy to see them. Who's going then? Who's the crew this time? Uh, the commander is uh, Chris Ferguson. He's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, just is he related to you? Uh, I, don't uh, think I so. guess in the dim distant past. He's yes. from Philadelphia. Yeah, probably. He's from then. Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, Great yeah. guy, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Like the Philly Fergusons are very famous. Do you know them? Oh, yeah. We all know each other. We go trout fishing together. We know the trouts. The trouts. With, uh, with Henry, with his yeah. crowd. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's the commander. Right. And then the pilot is uh, Doug Hurley, who's a yeah. Marine a Marine Corps pilot. You'd have to be a pretty hardcore pilot to fly that brick around, wouldn't you? Yeah, I you've got to have nerves of steel. Yeah. Yeah, these guys they, are I the mean, greatest pilots. There's they no, really are good. no controls on that thing. Well, no, they have control, but there's no, it's all manual. There's no auto land system. Right. And they actually land it. They only get one chance at the landing. Yeah. There's, there's no engines that right. are running. You can't it's a glider. Go up and go no, there's none of that. And you've right. got to hit this. You know, you're traveling really fast, 17,500 miles an hour right and you've got to slow down you're still going a couple hundred miles an hour when you when you come down to land and you get one shot at the landing and you've been all over the place and you got to hit this runway yeah so it's is that a special runway though it's a big well one. it's a special. big one yeah. at the kennedy space center or we sometimes land at edwards air force Base. i've seen the one at edwards it's kind of like it's it was like, like the pointy it's, thing it's, it's big yeah it's a it's a big long you need you want a lot of room just yeah. in case yeah. but still you've got to hit that runway so, so it, that's so, so that's these two and then who else is on? and then two of my other friends uh sandy magnus right is on the crew and rex Walheim. So those are the four astronauts on the final shuttle flight. No, which no, we'll no, uh, no robots. No, we already got a robot. This is he available? Yeah, Where is yeah, he? Yeah, right yeah. There. yeah, you can yeah. have him, man. Really? You can, you can, you can take you can take him to space and leave him there. As far as I'm we have we do have a robot up there though. We have uh, a Robonaut. He doesn't have a name like Jeff or anything. Right. right. Called, right instead, of like, instead of astronaut, they call yeah. him Robonaut. That's terrible. Really? Yeah, okay. It seems to be. You don't no, like it? What, no, should we, what should we do? Give him a name. Something like, you know, you got? Uh, Mr. Biggles or something like Mr. that. Mr. Biggles. <laughs> Mr. Biggles, yeah. People, people like a friendly name. Look, NASA needs to kind of loosen up with this whole kind of we know what we're doing thing and yeah. be more approachable to people. That would help. I, I think we, should, we should probably have a yeah, contest Mr. or something. Mr. Biggles or Mr. Biggles. Uh, um, Sandra. Sandra. 
Sandra Biggles, the robot. And people would be like, did you see Sandra, the robot in space? And yeah. they'd be like, let's give money to NASA. Yeah, it would be, it would make it more personal. Exactly. So those are good, can we use those suggestions or sure do you have them copyrighted? Can. Sure you can. Right. I'm, I want to help NASA any way I thank can. Thank you, thank right. you. That's what, but we, have, we just call him robot. I mean, maybe we can call him something else, but right now he's just robo not. Yeah, he's a he then. He, well, we, I don't really know, he's kind of just a robot, but I guess we assume he was a, a he. Well, even with the name well, Sandra? Sandra, <laughs> we, would have to, we would have to change it if it was uh, Tell me about this mission that's going on now. Yeah. What's going on in the last minute? Well, this is, this is our final shuttle flight. Right. And uh, it's going to go up to International Space Station. It's going to be bringing up a lot of supplies. Right. And then uh, they'll be up there. Stuff? Food, uh, equipment, all kinds of things we need to keep the space of, station going. Yeah, a little bit of... <laughs> No, no, no. Come on, man. Looking at the no. Earth from space? It's just a little. Bit. You know, it, that would just make it. It's, it's good like it is. Yeah, you don't all right, need all that. Right, all right, Believe it right. or not, you don't need anything to enhance it. It's yeah. so beautiful. The view of the Earth is yeah, as no, good I'm as sure it is. It is. Yeah, yeah. So they'll, they'll bring them some supplies to keep the station going for a while. This so is, the, this is our it, last big no launch. more Americans in space? No, 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 no. Oh. See, we can't get too depressed when you were saying you felt you were distraught. I think you said, right? I am distraught. Yeah, we shouldn't be distraught about the shuttle because we knew this was going to happen. It's been flying successfully for 30 years, right. and we're going to keep going. We have people on the space station. There are six ast uh, three uh, astronauts, three cosmonauts working together. Six people are up there. We've had people on the space station continually for over 10 so years. The cosmonauts are the Russians. Russian guys, right? So now, I have to interrupt you because yeah, see, cosmonaut yeah. sounds kind of better than astronaut. You know, it's so like if yeah. the Russians had a robot, they'd be like, let's call it Sandra. You know, <laughs> see, only, you might have something. They, there. they they have a public relations thing going on. NASA is just but like, oh, we go to space. Oh, great! But who's going? Is astronaut, Sandra going? No, we don't. But astronaut's pretty cool. Astronaut is. Pretty I think cool. it's pretty pretty cool. I mean, astronaut, you know. cosmonaut. Yeah, it's I just, guess. I mean, no, I don't know. I. I think those are, Potato but the Sandra pie. thing, though. Sandra, that's, Sandra. No, that's very cool. We do have, well, Sandy Magnus is going up, so that's right, so Sandra. Uh, she's a real person, though. She's not a robot. Yeah, but the, she's headed up there. people don't like people. They like robots. <laughs> They're not, anyway, helping, so they're not helping human space flight yeah, no, with those no, kind no, of right, statements. So, well, do you need you know? humans in space now? I mean, that's yeah. a fair question. I mean, I, the robots can do a lot. Yeah, they can. I think that it's uh, it's good to have both. I think it's good to have uh, like these robots we can send to Mars. Right. We're actually planning another robotic mission to Mars where you, you can scout the place out, see what it's like, uh, get a lot of data, pictures, and information. But I think there's something about sending humans that allow you to be very adaptable, to make observations, and, and things uh, being flexible to... Uh, Come up, uh, solve problems. Come up with solutions to problems, where just a robotic mission wouldn't. Uh, this is the same in the talk show game as well. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, yeah, same in the same. You ever get that question like, why don't you just put this guy as the host? Yeah, all, Can all a robot? The time. Do we really need? All do we really need human talk show? All of course, the, but you need them. Be very careful. Right. Uh, right. All the time. But you need the human talk show. Host. I th I like to think that I am, you know, one of the last of the human talk show hosts. There you go. Because this Soon. this guy just couldn't cut. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Hey. So what about, what about you personally then? Have yeah. you resigned to the idea that you won't be going back to space or will you go back? Well, no, there's still the opportunity. That's the point I was trying to make is that we have people in space uh, on the space station. Right. We're going to continue to do that. We still need to select new astronauts. We have a, a class that was selected just a couple a couple years ago. We're going to have right. another one coming up. So we need more astronauts. Are you gonna, personally going back? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, right. I've, I've flown a couple times, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get another turn. But it's different now for the next couple years. We'll be flying on a Soyuz, a Russian uh, spaceship, is the only way to get to the station now that the shuttle is going to be retired. However, we are building new spaceships here in this country. Yeah. A couple, yeah, a couple commercial companies are coming up with some uh, some new spaceships, and hopefully one of those we'll be able to use. And also NASA is building a new spaceship as well. So they are. They are. It's not going to be like the shuttle. What's it going to be like? It's going to be more like uh, like a capsule, like the uh, the Apollo capsule. I like that? the Apollo. So yeah. it's going to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, It'll yeah. Take more well, people. It was a bit tight. The Apollo. A little bit tighter. Yeah, yeah. Was I was in... They got a little. They got some feedback. It was a little tight. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah A little yeah, bigger. Yeah. Handles well, but a little small. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little no, tight. No, it was about the size Leg of room. a smart car. This thing wasn't it? They just went. <laughs> These, yeah. It wasn't very big. Yeah. Because you weren't in it for very long. You know, if you're just going to go to low Earth orbit, which is where the space station is, you don't really need that much room. You're just going right. to go there. And when you get to the space station, there's you a lot of room. You get all the room you want with that toilet. Right. With that, who was that That's guy? Right. With the, that was my friend Andy Howell. Howell. Now, he's, <laughs> he's not an astronaut. He's Aye. a scientist, uh, a university uh, scientist. Yeah, he's he always is. showing him how to work the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the last flight of that toilet, by the way. Oh, is it really? That's the shuttle toilet. So. What's going to happen to it now? Uh, did your buddy buy it? No. <laughs> yeah. 
He wasn't able to figure out. He didn't get checked out on it. All it right, didn't yeah, work. Yeah, it's it's no, very complicated. Pass, yeah, you got to pass the check it's, right. That's right. So it, he didn't, yeah. didn't pass the check right. No, so well, it's listen, it's, it's, uh, are you, you're going to the launch, though, right? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, going right. to I'm very excited. You're gonna, we'd love to have you come. I'd love Don't to Don't you go. think Craig should come yeah, to the Yeah, I'd love to have you come. It's July 8th. It's, it's July the 8th. Yeah. All right, so I'll maybe, be down there. Maybe, yeah. love to have you Put my name at the door. Okay, we'll, right. we'll save you. my name in the door and I'll we'll save you a spot. Not on the shuttle, but we'll save you a no, spot. No, no, I don't, don't want to go on the shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, we're out of time, Mike. Uh, quite very quickly, uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery ball, or the new option that's available for one night only, touch my revolving lit up glittery ball. <laughs> right. It is it only touching things? Can I just look at something? Yeah, you can just look at something. Just, how about you turn that thing on? I'll gaze at it. All right, all right, I'll turn it on. I'm afraid you, to touch it. I don't no, want to no, break that thing. No, don't touch it, man. Don't, all right, all right. don't touch it. There you go. You're not qualified. That's pretty cool. I could hypnotize you. You want to take that up in the show? I, I, I would love to. It yeah. makes me want to go back to space just yeah, to have that just thing just looking at it. It's, it's, like, it's like looking out the window and seeing Jupiter, isn't it? It is. If Jupiter was a tiny gay disco. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Massimino, everybody! Yes, please welcome Mike Massimino, everybody! Mike Massimino. I got it right, Mike. Right, you're still with NASA, right? You have a on your own. No, no, no. I, so, you know, maybe you might want to think about that. Like, start up your own small business. <laughs> Astronaut. Are you trying to tell me something I don't know about? No, no. Did my boss call you? No, no. NASA's very happy with your oh, work. Okay. I'm just saying that, yeah. you know, you might want to branch out and you want to be a self-employed astronaut, small business. <laughs> we, you know, they, there are some guys who are doing that, but they're mainly really rich guys. Like well, Richard I guess Branson that's true. And those Branson. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It costs a lot of money to get your own spaceship together. <laughs> but they are trying it. They have these commercial companies that well, are doing I think it. Well, I, th I agree with Buzz Aldrin, who says yeah. that the, the private sector is how, you know, the, it's going to get further in, uh, you yeah, can I, expand I, space travel. I, I hope so. I think because that's the, the natural progression of things. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just like uh, air travel. Air traffic, and, yeah. Yeah, so I hope we get to that point. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm ready to branch out on my own yet, though. I don't know if I'd be ready as well. Like, yeah. you want to take a Southwest flight to Mars? I'm like, yeah, oh, you know, I mean, uh, there's a lot. It's a lot of paperwork, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You got to hire people, and then you got to, you know, you figure all that stuff out. Also, you know, a no-frills airline to, to, you know, another planet, the fold-down table. It's yeah. Like, Ten years to Mars? It'll take no, not that long, but right. it's if, you know it's six feel months like or so. Years, yeah, it yeah. could if you don't give them the right, and then people complain about it. You know, yeah. I, I, I'm just fly around. And, yeah, yeah. How yeah. things? You haven't been up there in a while, have you? No, no. It's been a, been a couple of years. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever take a ride in an airplane just to kind of get a little like a little kind of methodo? I, I just I just <laughs> pretend. Yeah, yeah. I just close my eyes and pretend I'm still in space. Well, you know, yeah. maybe a little bit. Yeah. Like you could go to the fun fair and get you know uh, you know Disneyland or something. Yeah, yeah, right. Zero gravity. Think or oh, that that ride these uh, you know the vomit comet thing yeah you yeah we can do that in airplanes so we still yeah get still, still fly in airplanes right we can still go on amusement park rides although I want I stay away from the ones that have to do with space you know, like the ones in Disneyland they have some kind of Disney World ride Space Mountain the spa well not right. Space Mountain that's right but there's another one where you have to like this mission to Mars or something right and you've got to hit buttons and I was on it with my son and I was <laughs> screwing around with him and you're supposed to follow instructions yeah and I didn't I wasn't paying attention and then we crashed or something and it said you would not make a good astronaut oh man so I, so I was like hey I'm never doing that again don't ever do that again so the roller coasters are okay because there's no test involved right right but it's it's embarrassing to go into anything where it involves some kind of astronaut I stay yeah. away from those. The only thing you have to do is a uh, space mountain at Disneyland. You have to. Uh, do you really? Oh, yeah, a little bit before you go on. And no, then, I don't and think that. Don't do that at home, kids. That's not good. I don't, that's not. You don't want to do it. Well, no, I'm not recommending uh, it. I'm okay. just saying people do it. All right. No, I have I, heard. Okay. I, I wouldn't know anything about it. I know nothing about no, it. No, I know. Yeah. So, what's going on with NASA right now then? What are you guys doing? Well, uh, we are still flying people in space. Great we organization have, ever. I love that. There NASA. you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, yeah. and we appreciate the love you give oh, us. We I know love you NASA. love us. You know, great, great swag. Lovely hats. Yeah. 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 Uh, coffee mugs. Coffee mugs. Patches. And little, little patches and stuff. Pins. Oh, yeah. All and that also, stuff. 
going to outer space. It's That's a good thing pretty too. cool. That's a good thing. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. We have two two of my friends are in space now. Don Pettit and Dan Burbank, mm -hmm. two Americans. Along That's with good names for uh, for astronauts as well. Dan Burbank yeah. and Don Pettit. Dan yeah. Burbank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he kind of you know he's got a mustache and he flew helicopters for the Coast Guard. Have you noticed he kinda, that all helicopter pilots are crazy? You would have to be crazy to fly a helicopter. You think so, right? I, yeah, it looks They're like. All, I think it's a vibration. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't trust those things. Yeah. Whenever you meet a helicopter pilot, you ask him two questions. Yeah. The first is how many hours do you have? Right. And the second was how many crashes? Yeah, do you yeah, have? yeah. And then do the, and then do the math. Yeah, and to see see how well they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those things are like something Da Vinci came up with. And I don't see how, you know, how does that thing fly? It's well, it, I, I've heard people say that they don't actually fly. The, the pilots have said they're just rejected by the ground because they're so weird looking. <laughs> that's, that's, that makes sense. To, I like the, the ground just goes, ah, ah! Yeah, I'm going to have to ask Dan about that. Yeah, yeah. No, but helicopter pilots, they love helicopters. I'm scared yeah, of them. I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, you know, you've got to, I, I don't trust them. I'd rather be in a... Being rocket, an airplane, a space a rocket. shuttle. Yeah. I'd rather be in a rocket full of uh, rocket fuel. That yeah, that, that's there. not dangerous yeah. at all. No, space shuttle's done as well. Now that's the it. space shuttle's done. So that's that's completed, and now they're turning them over to museums. Just last week, they started delivering. Can them I have to one? Museums. I, I, you I, can. You're going to get one. I'd put, I'd put one out the back there. It'd look awesome. It's you don't have enough room. But you're going to get one here in California, though. Oh, you're going to really? get one in Los Angeles. Yeah, the California Science Center. Oh, my God. Is going to get, yeah. going to get Space Shuttle Endeavor. I think that's planned for the early fall. Nice. And Discovery has just been uh, delivered to the um, uh, Air and Space Museum in, in Washington, D.C. Nice. And the Enterprise, which was a drop test space shuttle, it right. never flew in space or used for landing tests. That's going to New York City. The in, Is that the one that was on the back of the 747? They all got transported that way. But yeah, when he did the drop test, they brought it up with a 747, and then they let go, and the thing came down and landed before they flew the space shuttle in space. Yeah, but it didn't. I mean, someone flew it down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. See, I want to meet the, the guy. guy. You know who the guy is? Who's that? It's an interesting guy. It's Fred Hayes. If you remember the Apollo 13 movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was in the Apollo. He was the guy who was one of the Apollo 13 uh, astronauts. Right. Uh, he stayed with NASA after the Apollo program and was one of the test pilot guys. See, if I was on Apollo 13, if I got back to Earth, I'd be like, I think I'm getting into gardening. That'd be. Yeah. <laughs> well, he probably needed a few more years for retirement. You yeah. Know? And so he didn't go back to space he flew the thing down from the 747 Do you know there. i went to the uh i went to the uh legends of aviation dinner last year you ever go Ooh, there? no oh, i'm not great. a legend of aviation no no, I no, no, I, no no i sat there and you I, have to but, be a legend. Uh, but jim lovell was there right oh that's cool right so jim yeah. lovell was he's being introduced he, jim lovell was the captain of apollo 13 right? yeah, yeah, yeah right. commander yeah commander yeah. right so he was being introduced by sully sullenberger and cool so, guy right yeah. so sullenberger gets up and he says Jim Lovell taught me everything I need to know about aviation. He said, no matter how bad it gets, no matter yeah. how terrifying or scary or how close death may look, always sound cool on the radio. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Yeah. Yeah. He, and he's a cool dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Amazing guy. Yeah. Amazing guy. I, I got a chance to meet him yeah. uh, a, a couple of years ago, Sully, and, uh, and I, had to, I had a question for him. And I asked, is it true that you landed in Hudson River, Sully, because you didn't want to land in New Jersey? <laughs> I go, is there why? And he goes, he goes oh, and he kind of laughed, but yeah. I think he, that might have been why. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. You know, I think any conceivable joke about that miracle in the Hudson thing, yeah. he's heard it a couple of I think times. It, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Right, yeah. he's like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, don't even tell me <laughs> I heard it. Yeah. So what are NASA doing now then? What are you guys doing? Well, uh, we solved the guys in space. Next big one. No. And the next big thing, uh, there's really two things going on. One is is that we're helping some of these commercial companies develop ways to launch cargo and people into space to go to the International Space Station, right. which is in low Earth orbit. You know, we're only 200. They're 250 miles up around the orbit where the space shuttle flew, near where I flew when I went to the right. Hubble Space Telescope. It's a couple hundred miles up. Uh, so we want to go beyond that. So we're hoping that these commercial companies, like you mentioned, uh, will be able to take us to the International Space Station. And then uh, we're hoping to go beyond low Earth orbit, which means places like the moon or to Mars or to an asteroid. So for that, we need a big rocket, which we're developing. You don't, don't want to go on an asteroid. I, it wouldn't be my first choice. Yeah, an asteroid is nothing. It there, be, right? I, it's, it's like a big, it's a big rock. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like Reno without casinos. It's just nothing. I, 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 I tend to agree with you. Yeah, yeah. It's, but it's a possible place that we could go. My yeah. preference would be the moon. Yeah. I, I think that's the, why the moon is there. Right, you meant to go there. Yeah, it's, it, that's, God put the moon there. Here's a playground, right, go play right, right. Go, there's, go find it here, put it close, yeah. not too far away. And this would be a great place for a bar. <laughs> Maybe so. Yes, you it start, would. Settle, yes, it would. Yes, it would. Yeah. But no atmosphere. Yeah. That's, an old, that's an old joke. That's an old joke. That's an old joke.
welcome Mike Massimino, everybody. Mike Massimino. Mike, sit down. You look great. You look great. You're in shape. You look fantastic. You've been yeah, working thanks. out. Yeah, do you do that one? <laughs> I, you know, I, I was watching that demonstration from the green room, and I'm not familiar with that. Well, you know that. It looks interesting. You, know, you don't have that. You, don't you have a multi gym yeah, in space? Yeah, we do, but we don't have the sound effects. We do. Exercise is very important in space yeah, and on the ground. Does. Yeah. Yeah, but no. But, but you don't have the. Uh, yeah, I, we, we do, but we don't quite have that sound effect. Long time up in that space station, Mike. Something to long think about. Long time gets cold in space. Sometimes you need a cuddle. It's a good point. Yeah. It's a good point. You get but, lonely up there sometimes? Uh, no, you have lots of friends with you. You don't go by yourself. You have plenty of friends, and you have the internet. Yeah. What else would you want? And you got a really good view. Yeah, well, you've got true. something yeah, to yeah. look at. Oh, yeah, I want to talk to you, actually. To. Uh, talking of views, the, yeah. uh, the, the Mars mission. What's it yeah. called again? Uh, the, uh, Curiosity. Curiosity. The, Curiosity. The, right. you know, the Mars Science Laboratory is roaming around. Right, yeah. and it's looking around Mars. Yeah, right? yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. The pictures are coming back. Are you watching yeah. these things? Yeah. Did you, did you, did, did, have you got the pictures? Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Is from this is another planet. So, you know something? what would be great if you just yeah. put in like um, you know the uh, a, a billboard for Carrot Top or something. It would look yeah. exactly yeah. like <laughs> Vegas. It looks like Nevada. Look yeah, right. this it looks does. Southern Nevada. Yeah, yeah. You should train there. They, we, you know, we do we do geology training out. Not necessarily in Nevada, but we go to New Mexico and Colorado and Utah. Places like that to. Will uh, we ever go to Mars? Do you think that's going to happen? Uh, people, yeah, I think so. In fact, that's part of the reason we got this uh, this rover up there is to find out what it's like, see if uh, how we can maybe uh, send astronauts in the future up there. How long is the trip? Uh, the trip is quite. It's it's about six months to get there, so it's quite a long yeah, trip. Yeah, so that's a long way. yeah, it's that's a long a, way. And a little spacecraft. Doesn't and it? a little yeah. spacecraft. Yeah, yeah. So you want to do a lot of yeah, a lot of exercise up there. Yeah, but exercise is very important because when you're weightless and you're in space, your uh, muscles can, uh, can atrophy. decay, you know, atrophy, yeah. you lose bo uh, uh, bone. Actually, your, your bone density can decrease. Yes. So exercise is very important. So what space. kind of exercise do you do then? Uh, usually, you can run. You can ride a, an exercise what? bike in space on a treadmill. But you're weightless. Yes, but you actually tie yourself down. So you're a smart guy, aren't you? Yeah. Can't so fool you, man. No running laps around so the you don't spaceship. Just, oh yeah, get plenty yeah. of exercise. Yeah, like, and like lifting weights, everything's everything's weightless, yeah. right? So oh, they're man, giving five hundred pounds. Giving five hundred pounds yeah. dumbbell. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, you can bench all your friends. Put yeah, them on yeah. it. Yeah. So what you have to do is you actually have to kind of tie yourself down. So I kind of like that. Sounds kind of cool, actually. Yeah. I knew you'd, yeah, yeah. I knew you'd kind of like this, but you wear a little a thing around your waist and, it, and it, like a bungee kind of deal, right? And so you can stay on the treadmill when you run. In fact, so one do of you crank it up to your body weight then? Well, yeah, you adjust it so it has the right body weight, and you can adjust. In fact, one of our astronauts, Sunny Williams, who's up there right now, right? The last time she was in space was uh, during the running of the Boston Marathon, right? And she's from Boston, and she ran the marathon in space on the treadmill. She ran the 26 miles. How was her she time? Was up there. I, I was very good. I yeah. don't know what it was, but it was right. very good. That's, she did really amazing. well. She's in but, I mean, I'd be kind of like getting myself a little lighter as time was going on. You know, I like Yeah, I know. I would, yeah, I, would, I would cheat the uh, whole time. Yeah, too. yeah. I would hang, right. turn off the camera and hang out or just keep repeating the family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's the way I would do it, sure. That's amazing yeah. that you can do that. So yeah. listen, tell me about, have you found anything out from Mars yet? Uh, uh, water uh, there, yes they're, or no? They're, they're just kind of still checking out their instruments as far as I understand. And they're getting every, everything looks good. They've got some really good pictures like you've seen there. Right. And they're just about to start the, uh, the search for, for water and uh, this you know, microbiological life that they may find somewhere under the surface. So that's, that's all that cool a lot stuff of is yet very to come. dangerous questions for you know, people who are, aren't big on the other planets and evolution and all that. That's what's that? Pro well, you, you know, I mean, if there's life on other planets, then a lot of people's belief system is going to be affected by that. You think that. so? I think a little bit. I don't know. I think, I, what do you think? Think there's life somewhere else? You think we're the only... Yes, it's mathematically think, almost impossible right. that there wouldn't be I, life I somewhere agree else. I agree with uh, you. I mean, you know, there you got up there Reno and other northern yeah. parts. <laughs> um, yeah. it, 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 there's bound to be someone I'm not, there. I, you probably draw the line in Canada, though. I'm not sure what's above there. Well, yeah, yeah. it's life, Mike, but yeah. not as we know <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> but. I, I agree. I think I think there's got to be something. Oh, there's definitely out. stuff up there. Yeah. Are you still uh, you still uh, involved in the space program? Are yeah, you going to go, still, you gonna go still, up again? I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to go again. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm still. I'm what, still there. what age are you now? 
I just turned 50, man. Oh, man. Oh, That's what you're telling oh, me. Oh, man, me too. Well, when you were telling me I was looking oh. good, I, I, it's scary. Why don't you take the 50? Horrifying. I, I can't take it. I didn't even want to celebrate. I did, wanted to forget the day existed when it was my get, birthday. Did you get the colonoscopy yet? You got to get it. That's, that's my present I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, no, you got to get it. I, I get started it. getting when I was 40. That was my 40th birthday. But NASA, they want to make sure you're healthy. Oh, right, right, They don't right. take any chances. Well, so then, you, it's, it's old hat to you. To uh, that's phrase. one way to put yeah. it, yeah. yeah. You know, I was first... amazed when I got it, though. Yeah. It's like, you know what, when they send a camera up there. Yeah, yeah, did you watch? watch? I, I didn't watch. Did you get no, the tape after? No, because I, I had to have the other one done. Uh, yeah. That doesn't sound good. No, well, I was, they knocked me out. All right. But when I woke up, yeah. the they guy told me, because they, they pump air into your uh, I, passages, yeah, you, get a, yeah. you get a lot of gas, right. but you haven't had food for a couple of days, so right. it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, you come out and you're like, whoa, yeah. and you're like, did yeah. that rich lady come into the yeah. room? <laughs> what, did, what did the guy next to you say, though? Yeah. That, but, that was your interpretation yeah, of I mean, it. What did the other guy say? It's an think? amazing thing. Do, I, yeah. And I got this uh, really powerful drugs, to, uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. So you like the whole experience. Like the drugs it sounds like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but turning 50, and you recently turned 50 as well. It's yeah, like, I did, yeah. I don't know. It's, it, uh, it's kind of frightening. It is. It yeah, sounds, it sounds you know, it's Because you're not, it, there's no society in the world that would call you the kid anymore. Yeah, that's it. Right? I feel like, this is what I'm afraid of. I feel like I have to grow up. Nah. For some reason, I feel like it's, but I, I, I think I can always use you as a role model. Right, 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 right. Because right, you're right, just I, a little bit older than I am. I'm a couple of months older than you. When's did your I birthday? grow up? Ooh, la, la. Well, exactly. I did not, Mike. I did not. Right. So I think I got to keep that in mind. That, I think, was my biggest fear about you it. You know what, what I think, because I don't think anyone grows up. What frightens me is, is that people who are as not as grown up as I thought they would be are, yeah. like, running the country and running big business and <laughs> running television shows. And they're, and they're just jerks the same age as me. It's terrifying. It is. Yeah. Yeah. What is the, I mean, guys that are running NASA must be like in their 50s, right? Yeah, you got a lot of young people working there. Oh, you don't I mean, want Look that. at these people with the rover. You got all these, you don't want, well, a lot of young people, work. you need young people, though. Oh, are you sure? I think they're they got good ideas. Yeah. You think so? No, of course. I love no, it. I have someone's kids. Someone's got to do the work. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, energy. Yeah. What's, what's Dude, you old? Go, I need to sleep. Take naps. You need someone who can I work. Need, you can take naps in space? You can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's one advantage. It, who's the oldest guy who's been in space? John Glenn, John Glenn, I think, probably, uh, right? when, he went, when he went up on the space shuttle back in 1998, he was, uh, he was old. I don't know what, what his age was. He was probably close to 80, I think. Yeah, he, he like, John Glenn's a badass. I mean, he's like... John he Glenn, is, man. Yeah. No, he's a Marine. In fact, I was a new astronaut. He was, I guess he was maybe his early, mid-70s at that point. But he showed, it was really cool. I was a new astronaut. And then John Glenn, you know, one of my boyhood yeah, heroes, shows course, up. Yeah. And he was training with us and going to the gym. But, and, and he was just a cool guy. He was down to the bone. He was a Marine. Yeah. Kind of a tough guy. Yeah, Very they, nice man. They, they kind of make him that way. There's no point they in do. having kind of like edgy Marines. Yeah, you yeah, put yeah. them tough. You yeah, know, you know, know what, like yeah, you know, I'm a Marine, but yeah. I don't feel like going yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. You, know, uh, you want to like, ah! ready. Yeah. 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 And that's what he was. He was a cool guy. Yeah. But he was the oldest guy to ever be in space. Yeah. So nope. we're still kind of young. Yeah, we still yeah, can go. Yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm not. No. I'm no, going to be sent to meet space. I'm not going to waste rocket fuel and send my ass to space. What's the point? I'd send you if I could. Well, you, you know, maybe it. maybe a couple of guys around here, they yeah. would send me. But yeah, no. Yeah. no you, you can go up there and do work. I'd just go up there and do crack jokes. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep From people space. Yeah, Craig, you see, but that's important because you want to keep good morale when you're up there. Especially if you think about this Mars trip for six months. Yeah, well, that's Right? True. You're going to need some entertainment while you're you up there. You're going to go nuts. Oh, you, you want me to be the onboard entertainment? I'll tell you what, <laughs> if you were, how about if, how about if <laughs> you and I were together? Okay. All right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Do it. If they, would, if they would send us together, that would be a lot I of fun. I tell you, you three and a half months, it'll be naps and colonoscopies all the way to Mars, buddy. <laughs> Who would do the colonoscopy, though? We'd do them to each other. Yeah, see, ah. I, I, you got to know where to draw the line. Yeah, all right, we're out of all time. Right. Mike Mazzamino, everybody. We'll be right back. What kind, of do what kind of doctor is your sister, Internal then? medicine. Internal medicine, so all her work is done indoors. <laughs> What does that mean, internal medicine? That means like it's all organs? No. She doesn't do hair? No, I'll not.